Okay, I've essentially rolled out my clay into a slab, putting the pressure on the middle of my rolling pin, using the dowels so that the clay is the same thickness as the dowels. Then you place your chinette paper plate on top. Chinette's good because it's nice and thick and sturdy. And take either a fettling knife or one of these sharp clay tools and cut around using the plate as a template. And take your time. You want to get it whoop, nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm going to carefully pick the clay up with the plate, gently lay it on top, and now I'm going to gently drop it just a little bit. Every time I drop it, that clay is going to start to take the form of my mold, and it, in this case, case is the plate. Okay, so now you can see it's taken that form. I can take my time today just gently smoothing the edges, making them a little cleaner. I'm not going to take too much time. What I want to do is the next step. After sending me a profile picture of yourself with strong highlights, I'll posterize it and print it out to this proper scale for you. You're going to take a Sharpie and trace only the dark shadows with acetate on top. So take your time again. It doesn't matter um, how detailed you get. What you really want to get is those dark shadows. Mm -hmm. I've kind of done that already. You can see. Just the dark shadows. Just the details that you need. Then from there, you're going to get a pair of scissors. And you're going to cut out the contour line, which is the outline shape of your head which is right here. So now you have the contour shape and you have the details on the inside. Then what you're going to do is roll out another slab of clay, which I've done here, and I'm going to place this towards the side. And again, take your felling knife, or in this case I'm going to take a smaller tool, and save this. Maybe someone else can use this for some details on their piece. And just keep this in place, and again, carefully Cut out the contour of your head. Now with this, I'm cutting all the way to the table so that I cut all the way through. Sorry for removing the background. That's a booger. Okay, that's crazy. That was a piece of plastic bag. So just be careful when you are returning scrap clay to make sure there's no newsprint or plastic or anything in there. Um, so I pulled it out and I peeled the hole and that's where I'm at. The next step is to go back to your plate and keeping the mold underneath your plate and I'm going to go back to the paper first and put it exactly where I want it placed. I know I want to put the year of my birth down here, maybe my last name or nickname or something up here, so I'm going to leave a little room. If you want to put a lot more on the bottom, you can change it. But again, I want this to look more like a medallion or a coin for my low relief. So I'm going to take my tool, and this time I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to use this to indicate where I want to place my clay. I'm not going to press very hard. It's a very light tracing and I don't need to get too detailed because I'm going to score this so a lot of this is going to disappear. This is just a general outline telling me where I want to place this. So there. So now because I want to place this in this direction I'm going to flip it and score this area and this area. This time I'm going to use a fork because I can get a lot more lines at once and add a lot of pressure. Not too much, but you really want to get make sure that clay is soft. So if you make the plate one day, 
and you're going to attach the next piece the second day, make sure you wrap this plate nice and tightly with uh, damp newspaper. Not dripping wet, just damp to keep the clay nice and fresh. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Going in different directions. Now you can use water. I like to use slip for this because it's more of a an adhesive or a glue. So I'm going to take my slip and you guys can dig out of this and put it on there. Nice and wet. And I'm going to do that to both sides. I'll pick up some up a little bit too much there, I think. Okay, so I've got good slip. I'm going to flip this back in the right direction, try to make sure it's placed in the proper place. Add a lot of pressure. Now I did this already draping the clay over the back of the plate, but I found when I got to this point, as I was adding pressure to the plate, it was starting to cave in. So I actually like the idea better of having the design on the inside of the plate anyway. I'm going to clean up some of that, maybe take some paper towel. Here. A little bit too much water, so I'm going to soak some of that up. But notice now I'm going to take my paintbrush and clean up the edges so that I can see that contour. And also too, because I put so much slip as I press, some of that slip is seeping out the sides, but that's good because I know I'm getting a nice good adhesive attachment with my slip. Adding pressure and wiping that away. If you get to this point, that's great. You'll probably be ready to start cleaning up and continue the next day. But again, make sure you put some damp newspaper on top to keep the clay nice and fresh for sculpting.